Alright, so uh, right now I'm going to show off my newest guitar. Oh, there you go. Got me a body blank. Uh, first off, this is not the wood you would normally use. No professional luthier would use this kind of wood to build a body. Uh, but for what I want to do, it, it'll suffice. It, uh, it's got the lumber tag on it still. It, what it really is, is uh, I know somebody who works in a uh, furniture carpenter shop and uh, they hooked me up with a couple of scrap pieces that were glued together and it's just the right size to make a body out of. Might be a little bit thin, but that's all right. It's a little, little bit heavy compared to like the basswood and stuff I would, I, I'm normally used to, but this is a little more realistic. Um, it's still got the lumber tag on it right there. You can see it says Prime SYP, and SYP stands for Southern Yellow Pine. So it's not a tone wood, it's not something you would normally use to build guitars out of. I mean, there's some guys out there that build guitars out of it all the time. But uh, the higher end guitars would not be made out of this stuff. But it's really more of an experimental thing, so that's what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, I just need to, really need to plane it down, but I don't have a planer, so I'm just gonna be sanding it a lot. And uh, yeah. Now, uh, I've got an idea of the design I want to do and basically I, I want to it's going to be a flat body kind of like a Telecaster there's not going to be any curves or, or arch top or anything like that on it not like a Strat that has some uh, contour to the top side of the body less Pauls are curved this is going to be flat kind of like a Telecaster but I'm also going to incorporate ideas from a bunch of different styles of guitars. So there's going to be a Telecaster, Stratocaster, Les Paul, SG, Explorer, PRS, all kinds of stuff going into this. And uh, maybe even a little bit of BC Rich, even though I make fun of them a lot. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, designs incorporated into this. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to start off by tracing a Les Paul onto it and go for there, go from there. All right, this is a uh, Les Paul body I've, I'm working on for another build. Uh, you're gonna have to pretend like you haven't seen it yet. It's for another video. Uh, it's incomplete anyway. And I, I'm angling it, as you can see here. I'm angling it so it fits on there just right so I can cut out some of these knots. And also so that the neck pocket is in a solid piece of wood instead of split between two of them. So it's gonna be kind of cross, the grains are gonna be a little bit cross instead of straight, which uh, might give it a unique look. Um, but I really want the neck pocket to be in one piece of wood rather than uh, split between two of them. So I've got this lined up pretty nicely on there. It's a perfect size blank for, for this. I'm just gonna trace this out as best as I can and then maybe oh, actually that's perfect right? mm, yeah I think this is the best no those knots there would end up where the cavity needs to be so those knots are gonna end up on the solid side over here so this works out like this get everything lined up and I'm gonna trace this out and try to cut it out all right, got it traced out on there. Uh, worked out just right. Uh, the neck pocket's gonna go right here. So it's not split between the, the seam there. So that should work out. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this out the hard way. I've got a jigsaw rather than a bandsaw. So it'll work, but it'll take a lot longer.
go. It's a rough cut, but it's in the right shape. It needs to be smoothed out really good. That's gonna take a long time with the tools that I have, but it's gonna get done. There you go. It's uh. Hmm. Take me a while, but it's getting there. It's actually really smooth came out pretty good it looks a little rough it's a little crooked but I started off with 80 grit sandpaper sanded it down to the 80 and then I went down to 150 so this is where I'm gonna start filling in some of the rough stuff with primer and I'm gonna lacquer it and fill it in with lacquer and then primer it and then yeah get it going from there but uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out so that is going to be the basis for everything I do. I'm going to route out some spots for pickups. I'm going to route out a place for the bridge. Maybe not route out a place for the bridge, but the center line is going to help me get all of that spaced. And then, yeah, I'll go from there. All right, so I've been working on this guitar for, for a little while now, uh, but I haven't decided what color I wanted to use. I haven't really thought about it that much. I know I've got uh, some purple and black that I'm implementing in it, maybe some chrome, but the main color itself, I haven't decided. Uh, so there's a website here. Uh, not that you can read that, randomcolor.com. And... Uh, just every time it loads, it gives you a different random color. Not that you're really able to see it, but... So I'm going to refresh it five times. And the fifth color that it comes up with is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a variation of it anyway. I can't get this exact color, but... Or maybe I could, but... I'm going to use a variation of whatever that fifth color is that comes up. And that'll be it. Let's see. Come on. One, two, three, four, five is green. All right, it's going to be a green guitar. All right, uh, I got a little bit ahead of myself. I started routing out the pickup cavities and all that. And uh, I don't want people to see that just yet. I want that to kind of be a surprise for the end of the video. So I've covered it up. But uh, I'm also going to start changing the shape of it uh, some. I'm going to do some contours, body, uh, body curves, comfort curves here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to set my jigsaw at an angle so I can cut that off nice and then sand it out smooth. And I'm going to do that on the back and the inside so it'll be a little bit more comfortable, comfortable to play. And somewhat of a different shape so hopefully Gibson doesn't sue me.
so uh, the neck plate finally came in and the screws these are actually the shorter screws too but they're still just a little bit too long and uh, I don't think they'll actually be going through and sticking out of the fretboard but I would prefer to not have them go into the the uh, rosewood at all so I'm gonna try to uh, shorten them up a little bit and my idea for that is to take this pretty thick cardstock here and basically make a couple of pads at least one pad maybe two should do the trick two should be the absolute most I would need so I'll just cut these out onto there and uh, fit it in one should be enough but maybe two so let's see here I kind of skipped ahead here and I'm going to do a little bit of a review reveal here. Uh, I skipped ahead because for two reasons. One, I mean, how many times do you need to see me do the same thing, painting a guitar over and over? You don't really need to see that because I do it in all of my videos. Uh, two, I didn't really want to do any of the, show any of the wiring or anything I was working on it because I didn't, didn't want to spoil the surprise. So, uh, I, I intentionally did everything that's on this guitar. And uh, if you're a fan of traditional guitar bodies and stuff, this should irritate you. Here's the review. Oh, that's the back side. But as you can see, it looks like a traditional Les Paul body, but I did some cutaways on it. And uh, it's got an Ibanez headstock, inline tuners. Uh, but here's the, the big surprise. Doesn't that just piss you off? It's a Les Paul with a Strat setup, a Telecaster setup, and an Ibanez headstock. So, if you're a fan of uh, traditional, if you're a purist, if you are a guitar purist, there's a lot of those guys out here on YouTube that just trash everybody who makes their own guitars that are unique or something. They want everything to be pure. It has to be a Strat or Les Paul. Well, this should drive you crazy because it's all of those things. It's a Strat that's wired as a Telecaster with the Strat jack, plot, jack output jack here. But it's a Les Paul body shape with Strat contours. Cut it off right there got cutaways or get uh, body curves comfort curves all over it unlike regular Les Pauls I mean some of them do have those but this one this one I made it like what a Strat would have and it's got the neck from an Ibanez style guitar so it's a Les Paul Strat Telecaster Ibanez so Lestra Telebanez yeah but it's done uh, the color scheme Oddly enough, like you saw, I did. I randomly chose green. I did not pick green myself, but I did pick the shade of green. And I ordered these uh, these three ply pickup rings, scratch scratch plate pickup pick guard rings. Uh, before I realized I was going to be doing it in green, and just it actually worked out. But it also kind of looks like the Joker got food poisoning at Nam. So yeah. It's, it's a hideous abomination. And if you're a fan, if you're a guitar purist, it should piss you off. I completely intended that. And not only did I intend it to be ugly, uh, the everything about it is intentional. I used chrome and black, a mixture of chrome and black screws. Uh, it's got chrome strap pins. It's got chrome knobs. All the other hardware is black. Uh, cream colored pickups and uh, 
I didn't sand down the body the way you're supposed to. I intentionally left all these indentions and grooves in it. You can even see the seam. The seam looks hideous. It looks horrible, but it's all coordinated. Like the, the sanding of the body looks bad, but this is probably one of the best paint jobs I've ever done. It's a nice, even coat finish, but it looks bad because of the wood. Uh, the black and chrome screws are coordinated. Like black on the outside, chrome on the inside. Black on the outside, chrome on the inside. Uh, this one didn't have black screws, so I just used chrome. Everything was completely intentional. And if, uh, if you're sickened by looking at this thing, then I did what I wanted to do. Now, to get it over to Jacob and see his reaction.